Hey guys, as some of you may know, I've just come back from my honeymoon and I went to an island resort in Malaysia called Pangkolau and then after that we went to Japan and we did so much shopping, so, 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 so much shopping. There's no doubt about it. We both bought a lot. And so I have so many things to show you guys in a haul. I don't know if it's going to be too much in one video, so I may divide it up into part one and part two. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how we go. I have a massive pile of stuff next to me right now to show you guys. So most of this stuff is from Japan, and some of the stuff is from Malaysia because we also stopped there um, on the way back home for one day and shopped in KL. So uh, I'm not going to bother with saying how much things were because, you know, it's all international currency. It's going to confuse everyone. Plus, I don't have the tags on everything anymore. Plus, it is too much for me to model each item. So it's just going to be a quick show and tell. Hopefully a quick show and tell. So let's get into it. So the first item is this pair of distressed shorts and I got this from Japan from a store called Berkshire and I love that it's got the distressed, um, you know, parts to it and it looks like that at the back. Now I got these, I have heaps of denim shorts but I don't really have a pair that's like really distressed like this. Plus it wasn't too too short. I've had a really hard time trying to find a pair of denim um, distress shorts that aren't like, that don't have your bum cheeks hanging out. It's close to it but it, you know, not quite there yet. So really like this pair. I also shopped at Forever 21 in Japan because we don't have that in Australia and I got a few singlets which I'm really happy with. Um, it, this one is just a really plain singlet but I love that it's got the big open um, arm bit so what I can do is wear like a little cute little crop top underneath and yeah I think it looks really cute for summer. I also got this camo one which is more cropped than the other one and once again it's got big arm holes not quite as big as the other one but I think this is really cute as well and I would probably pair this with high waisted stuff so like uh, a high waisted skirt I think that would look really cute and there's another singlet there with once again, a really big um, hole. So there you go. From the Malaysian um, Forever 21, I just got these plain singlets. Um, I like that it's striped and I just know that it's that basic that you can pair with lots of things. So I got that in that color as well as this navy color, which is kind of like a nautical um you could dress it up in a sort of nautical style. Also from a random store in Japan, I got this top and once again it's cropped and once again I would wear it with um, high-waisted things. So I got that there. Now in Japan there's this awesome store called GU and it's kind of like Uniqlo, if you know what Uniqlo is like. It's like Uniqlo but trendier and maybe even cheaper or maybe sort of similar prices. Uh, for Australians, the comparison would be something like, it's sort of like a Kmart, but just really on trend fashion pieces and they only sell clothes and shoes and accessories. And both Phil and I went completely nuts in there because they sell men's and women's. Uh, Phil probably bought more than me, but I got this knit here and it was really inexpensive. I don't remember how much anymore, possibly $15 or something or maybe even less. Um, so I got that and I think it would look really cute tucked into like a circle skirt or a skater skirt and same with these knits here. Um, it's just a bit chunkier than the other one. It's a v-neck. This one's navy and I got the same one in yellow for a pop of colour. Also from GU I got this bomber jacket and these jackets are really in in Japan at the moment and the girls like to wear this um, paired with more feminine pieces so I've noticed that they wear like a skirt um, and jumper for example tucked in and then they'll wear this on top and I think it looks really cute I really love the look so I got myself um, a bomber jacket as well. Now from another random store in Japan I got this sweater and you know as if I'm not as if I can't get this you know I think it's just um, an awesome sweater just to lounge around in in fact I might wear this later um, and it's got Tokyo. I also bought another bomber jacket. This one's more of a sweater material. I just think it would look really cute um, when you want to dress casual and you know you're just running errands or something. 
Uh, I think this will look really cute with a pair of jeans and sneakers. From a store called Wego in Japan, I got this striped knit and they had different colours but I really liked these colours. I just, I think this will look really cute just with a pair of jeans just because of the colours through it so I really like that. From a different store in Japan, I got this sort of slouchy, chunky cardigan and it's kind of hard to imagine what it would look like but um, basically it's just, you know, a really loose fitted cardigan that, you know, I would wear open just with, you could just sort of throw on top of your outfits and it would look really effortless. From Forever 21 in Malaysia, I got these pair of linen shorts and I don't have a pair of linen shorts so I thought this would be really, really cute and the colour is really easy to match with, you know, everything. I also went to H&M in Japan and once again we don't have that in Australia so um, I did buy a few things from there as well. The first item is this uh, faux leather skirt and I really really love this. It's sort of got a slight high low hem and you've probably seen this skirt before. I really really love this. The way I would wear this is probably um, with more oversized things on top and so I wouldn't actually sort of wear a tight top um, just me personally that's how I would style it and so I'm really looking forward to wearing this I also got this beautiful beautiful maxi dress so how am I going to show you so it just goes all the way down and the slit um, sort of starts halfway so it's a really sexy dress but uh, you know, it doesn't show any boobs or cleavage or anything like that. It's got a V-neck, V-neck, V-back, whatever you call that. So it's, you know, shows a bit of skin at the back and it just gives a really beautiful silhouette. It does require a flat tummy though, so I would definitely wear slimming underwear with this. But I can't wait to wear this to, you know, to some sort of dinner or whatnot. Now going back to Forever 21 in Japan. They are loving, and not just Forever 21, but just Japan in general, all the stores, they love uh, flannel plaid shirts. They just love them, and I love them anyway. So I got um, a couple from Forever 21. This one you may have seen before. I think I've seen it in um, on some other YouTubers, but I really, really love this one because of the studded shoulders. I know that studs are kind of you know on its way out but I just I liked it anyway so I got it and you know it's a color that I don't currently have so I really like and this. I also got another plaid shirt but this one has a hood on it which is detachable but I really like the hood and I think it's a nice shirt to wear um, when you want to dress casual but still look still look stylish so I really like this. From H&M I also got this puffy jacket and I love this jacket because I currently don't have a warm jacket that I can wear you know on road trips or on like really really cold winter days when you're going somewhere where you really need a warm jacket that's not sort of just a fashionable jacket so I've been on the hunt for a puffy jacket that uh, has a bit of style for a really long time so I was really happy to see this because this has this belt here which cinches in your waist a bit so it doesn't completely swallow you up which is important for short girls like me who can easily get swallowed up by big clothes so I really like this, it feels like it's really good quality and it's got that fur hoodie too so now I'm equipped for winter road trips. Also from H&M I got this fur faux fur vest and I currently have one faux fur vest and I wear that all the time in winter so I figured I should invest in another one that looks different um, because I will probably wear this one a lot. Another too. trend that is so hot in Japan right now is vests. They have vests for women and men and like in all different types of styles we just saw vests everywhere so it was hard for me not to catch on so I got uh, this denim vest here and I think this is really cute and it, it's so warm as well. By the way, if there's any item which I've shown you guys which you would like me to do a lookbook on, then please comment down below and let me know. So the last vest I got is this knitted cable knit 
vest and once again a really really warm vest I think this would be awesome for winter I did get lots of winter clothes because as I mentioned um, it was all sort of winter stock in Japan but I prefer it that way because I feel as if I got more value buying winter clothes rather than just like some singlets here and there which I could probably get here as well uh, when it's sale time what I didn't mention at the start was that everything that I got I bought if I thought it would be cheaper than if I was to buy it in Australia so everything I got I feel like I got really good value for money which is why I went crazy on the shopping so yeah now I also got some basic tees this one is from Berkshire and I just like that it's got the zipper detailing and it's just um, a really sort of soft easy fabric that you can sort of tuck in and you're halfway or whatnot and it would still drape nicely on your body so I got this. I also got this black t-shirt from Forever 21 once again it's that fabric where um, it just drapes nicely over your body and you can tuck in wherever and it will just still sit nicely so um, I really like this t-shirt because I know I will get lots of wear out of it. Finally I got this t-shirt here from Forever 21 but it's got this back detailing as well so you may have seen something similar to that or you may have seen this actual t-shirt but I really like this speckled um, print the speckled, I don't know if you call it a print but I really like that as well now I also got a couple of bags because I realised that I didn't have I don't have at all like a big floppy tote bag which I can throw everything in and travel with I only have sort of I've got everything else but I don't have that so I was on the hunt for that when I was in Japan particularly before we went on the plane so that I could bring it on the plane with me and just throw everything in that bag. So I got this bag here and it's just very simple but what I like is that inside it comes with this bag so you can obviously put your items in there but then also if you're traveling you can just grab this strap attach that to this bag and then you've got a smaller bag so it's actually a really good bag for traveling um, otherwise you can just throw in all your crap you can fit so much stuff in here and just travel with this so I really really like this bag also at the same store just because it was cheap I got this other bag as well and it's another tote bag but this one is a bit sort of harder more structured um, it's it's been squashed in my luggage so it doesn't look the best at the moment but it is a nice bag now I also bought three pairs of shoes and the first pair I got is these vans and I am loving these vans these are my first pair they're very simple but I love that it's got it's firstly it's an oatmeal color and I love oatmeal and I don't know if you guys can tell but it's got um, a fabric finish so I really really love these and the interior is this sort of striped grey and cream so I think that's really cute and they're really comfortable. I'm not much of a sneak person but I just couldn't help myself and I got them. I also got these pair of sneakers from Forever 21 and when I saw them I just couldn't help myself I thought they were so cute even though like I said I'm not a sneaker person. I will have to be now because I, I love these and I would love to wear these more often so I love that they've got the buckles and the studding on the straps they're just so cute. Also from Malaysia this time I got a pair of sandals and I'm loving these you know they are really simple but I love that it's a nude colour and they will go with everything so yeah. Now if you've been to Malaysia or you live in Malaysia then you may be familiar with the store called Padini and I love that store. Both Phil and I love that store. We basically blew all our money there and we didn't really shop anywhere else in Malaysia and my objective there was to get clothes for work because I literally wear the same clothes all the time at work. Well it feels like it anyway. So I got a bunch of new clothes for work and they're all really good value for money. I feel like they look like they're from Q or a store similar to that but the price was a lot cheaper so firstly I got this dress and this is um, obviously more of a corporate style dress and so it is um, I think it's just above my knees or maybe at my knees so it's perfect for work or if you're going to a job interview or something like that so I got that I also got this electric blue dress and sorry um, I was 
hesitant to get this because I love, love the colour, but I tend to wear really safe colours to work and I don't like to stand out and wear, you know, reds and electric blues and stuff. Even though I would happily wear these colours on the weekend or not at work, um, I don't usually wear that stuff to work. So I was hesitant to get this, but I thought, you know what, why not? It is good value and, um, you know, I'll just have to get over my fear of standing out at work. It's not really a fear, I guess. You just feel like it's work, you should be more conservative and be safer. But, you know, you can so totally wear those colours. Of course, I also got this shift dress and this is just a plain black, so a lot safer. Um, these look better on than they are on the hanger. They also look kind of big on the hanger as well, but they fit me perfectly and the length is good too. That's the other thing. If I was to buy stuff like this here, I know the length will be too long and I would need to take it up. But because I got it in Asia, the length is perfect for me. I also got some tops for work and I think they would just look really good with like, you know, your normal black slacks or just work pants. So I got this gorgeous yellow top and it just you know sits really nicely so this would be awesome for summer so i also got this top here and it's another sort of oversized billowy top i love wearing tops like this with my normal work pants because i think i think it looks really nice when you have fitted work pants and you wear sort of a loose sort of blouse on top i just really like that look for work we also got this top here which has an interesting back as well and you can't tell it sort of looks like a t-shirt um on camera but it's more of a thicker material and um yeah it's not a t-shirt we also got this top here once again it's blue it is my favorite color to wear um but not usually at work. But anyways, so that top there. And finally, I got this gorgeous, gorgeous uh, peplum top in this mustard colour. Mustard is my other favourite colour to wear. And yeah, I just think this look really cute with work pants as well. And I would totally wear this out on the weekend as well. So that concludes my huge, massive haul. Congratulations to you if you made it this far. I did decide to make it one video rather than part one and part two because that's kind of annoying. Um, I also got some makeup from Japan. So let me know if you would like to see a haul with, that, with those items because I'm not sure if you guys would be interested because obviously this is a fashion channel. Um, once again, if there's anything that I showed you guys in this haul that you would like me to do a lookbook on and style around, then let me know down below. Also, if you haven't seen our bridal party entrance video, you have to watch it. It's epic, if I say so myself. I loved it. Um, I will link that for you here. Uh, unfortunately, you can't watch it on mobile devices because it's got copyrighted music, but the Vimeo link is available in the description of that video and I will also link it down below. So I'm really glad to be back guys. Let me know if you have any video requests. Uh, also you can subscribe to my blog which is lovechicstyling.com. You can follow me on Instagram which is also lovechicstyling and Twitter which is joey86 and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.